Thanks for joining me. I'm Mrs. Smith and today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about fifth grade math. So pay attention. This will be a good one. Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt. Hi. I know you helped me figure out that code and you fixed my spaceship. So I was hoping maybe you could help me with one more thing. I seem to have lost my decimal point, and I just love my decimal point. Can you help me find it, please? I know I had it when I was in my swimming pool, solving this fun multiplication problem with decimals. And I absolutely remember that I solved the problem correctly, so I know I put the decimal point in the proper place in the answer. So where is it? Would it be under the unicorn floaty, under the rubber ducky, or under the beach ball? Mm. However many numbers are after the decimal point in the problem, that's how many numbers need to be after the decimal point in the product. I've heard Mrs. Smith say that a million times. So where would the decimal point be? Ducky. Because there were two numbers after the decimal point in the problem. There's one after the decimal point, two after the decimal point. So I needed two numbers after the decimal point in my product. So one, two, and then I put my decimal point so that there would be two numbers after my decimal point. But that's not where I lost it. After I was at the swimming pool, I went hiking. See me there? I went hiking in the mountains. And on the mountain, I saw this beautiful multiplication problem just sitting there waiting to be solved. So I multiplied it. And then I used my decimal point in my answer. I know I put it in the right place, but I forget if I put it under the red rock, the blue rock, or the purple rock. Which rock do you think it's under? Not purple. Not the blue. the decimal point. So I put my decimal point in the product so that it would have three numbers after it. But that's not where I lost it. After I went hiking in the mountains, I went walking in the snow. See me there? That's me. And in the snow, another multiplication problem that I decided to solve. I don't remember if I left my decimal point under my mitten, my hat, or my scarf. It could be in any of those places. You know how to place the decimal point correctly when you're multiplying decimals? Which one of these do you think my decimal point is under? Nope, not the mitten. And also, not the scarf. Oh yeah, I left it under my hat because there were two numbers after the decimal point in the problem. So I needed two numbers after the decimal point in my answer. Thank you. Found it.
video. I hope you didn't miss too much of it. That's it. A whole video about all the secrets you need to know about fifth grade math. I hope you didn't miss any of them because I'm never going to share them ever again. You're so lucky you were here for them. I'll see you next time.